How does a big boat float on the water? You maybe have thought how a heavy boat floats on the water. The principle is simple. Because of flotation, it is possible. If you go into a bath filled with enough water, the water overflows as your body sinks. That time, you can feel light yourself because the weight, which is same with overflowing water's weight, makes us float. It is the flotation. That is, the flotation is same with water's weight, which something pushes. When gravity is smaller than flotation, an object floats on the water. A boat is made of hard metal things, but it has many places. Because flotation of size, which sinks in the water, is bigger than weight of the whole body of a boat, a boat can float on the water. If a boat clashes with other one, or strikes a reef and water comes into it, it will lose flotation and go down. Where does a mermaid originate from? A bust of a mermaid is person and the rest part is a fish. It we have known is an organism in legend. You also maybe have heard about it in a story or movies. The story of the little mermaid has been well known in the world. Usually, people understand a mermaid as a beautiful woman who has long hair. There were many people who saw it in an island or seashore in the 15th century, but actually, nobody has catched it. Because of this reason, there is no help to consider it as an organism in legend. According to a believable's assumptions, a mermaid was originated by a dugong, a real organism. A dugong belongs to mammals. The figure of a mother dugong nurses to its baby is similar with the figure of person. Someone said that sailors misunderstood a dugong in distance as a mermaid. If a mermaid you have known is real, how do you feel that? Can you be a good friend with it? The Interesting Life of Honeybees Maybe you have seen honeybees flying around together in the sky. A honeybee home is called a hive. A honeybee society is made of three rankings. The highest ranking is the queen bee. There is only ever one queen bee in each hive. Second ranking is a male bee, and third rank is a working bee. All of them live together. A queen bee carries on a family line. She uses the male bee to mate, then the male bee vanishes or it is killed. The queen bee is the only one that lays eggs. When the eggs hatch, the working bees take care of them by feeding them a royal jelly-like substance. These working bees hope one day to become a queen bee. A queen bee can live for several years, but a working bee life is about 50 days. When bees hive increases, a new queen bee is needed. A new king and queen bee is appointed and the hive will be split. Working bees do various chores, like cleaning or fixing a hive. When they take food into the hive, they let other working bees know the direction and distance where the food is by dancing. When you see bees flying around the hive, you can be assured there is honey there. What insects is harmful to a person? One thing among living things that make us tired is a fly and mosquito. They live in dirty places and have many germs. Moreover, they move germs to everywhere. They are beneficial insects but harmful one either. 
a black beetle and moth spread germs flying on the air. A cabbage butterfly nibbles away leaves of a cabbage. Also, a locust nibbles away rice plant so it makes people hard by damaging to crops. A white ant gives damages to person by nibbling trees away and some insects. Directive parasite attack to person or animals. To keep us from damages harmful insects give, it is important for us to keep us clean. Recently, biologists are studying to use habits of harmful insects as beneficial ways.